Entrance Senathon. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Troy Rivier. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, the feast is celebrated on October 7th because on October 7, 1571, after Pope Pius V had asked all of Europe to pray the Rosary for the defeat of the Turkish forces that were trying to conquer and destroy Christianity in Europe. And uh, the, uh, it was a successful effort. Uh, it was attributed, the victory was attributed to Our Lady of the Rosary. And so from that time forward, we have always celebrated the feast on this day. So we remember the powerful intercession of Our Lady, especially through the gift of the Rosary. Let us come before the Lord now to confess our sins and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. You have defied me in words, says the Lord. Yet you ask, what have we spoken against you? You have said, it is vain to serve God. And what do we profit by keeping his commands and going about in penitential dress in awe of the Lord of hosts? Rather, must we call the proud blessed? For indeed, evildoers prosper and even tempt God with impunity. Then they who fear the Lord spoke with one another, and the Lord listened attentively. And a record book was written before him of those who fear the Lord and trust in his name. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my own special possession on the day I take action. And I will have compassion on them, as a man has compassion on his son who serves him. Then you will again see the distinction between the just and the wicked between the one who serves God and the one who does not serve him. For lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, they will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. The word of the Lord. Thank you, thank you God. The sponsorial song. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open our hearts.
hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And if he says in reply from within, do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed, I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. There are some Christian churches that misrepresent today's gospel. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you will find, and knock the door will be open. They uh, misrepresent that to say that if you just pray hard enough, God will give you anything you ask for. But then that makes us God, right? That's, that's so silly. But you look at some of the television programs and listen to how this message which is sometimes called the prosperity gospel, is preached so consistently. Whatever you ask for, God will give you. That, that's not what Jesus was saying at all. In fact, he makes it clear in the final sentence of the gospel. If you who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? That's the one gift that God promises. If we pray for the Holy Spirit, we will indeed get the Holy Spirit because that's God's plan. So it's not like we're becoming God or manipulating God. But when we say, Lord, I'm in a mess, I need the Holy Spirit. My finances are low, I need the Holy Spirit to help me pay my bills. My family's in strife, I need the Holy Spirit to resolve the arguments and disputes we're having. The Holy Spirit, God will send the Holy Spirit. That is the promise. And, and we're also taught to be persistent because uh, in, persi in persisting in our prayer, God builds up our resolve and our trust to believe that God will send the Holy Spirit. Same thing is true in praying to Mary. When we pray to Mary, she's a powerful intercessor, but we're not gonna get every single thing we ask for. But if we pray to Mary, uh, also through our intercession, we will get the Holy Spirit through our prayers. Today, there happens to be a, just a fun, fantastic reflection uh, in the Magnificat uh, prayer book. Uh, those of you who get it, you may have already looked at it this morning, but it's a reflection on the Rosary as we celebrate Our Lady of the Rosary and the month of the Rosary. As I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, we uh, recognize the Feast of Our Lady of Rosary today because it was 450 years ago today, on October 7, 1571, that the outnumbered, uh, less well-equipped Christian military forces defeated the Turkish Muslim forces off the coast of Greece when they were trying to invade Greece, take over that country, and then take over Europe. It was considered a turning point in keeping Christianity rooted in the continent of Europe. And it occurred, it was attributed to the intercession of Our Lady as Pope Pius V asked all of Europe, get on your knees and pray to Our Lady that we will be victorious in this battle. So this is a, this is a reflection on the rosary by Sister Mary Jean Dorsey, who was a Dominican sister and, uh, 
and prolific Catholic writer who died in 1988. It's really great. How many millions of rosary beads have traveled through troubled fingers? Only God and his mother knows. How many miracles of grace has the rosary worked in the lives who are faithful to this devotion? How many times has the rosary pulled from the gates of hell some wayward soul who perhaps had no other devotion we will have to wait till heaven to discover? The vocal prayers of the rosary are repeated over and over, perhaps because we are all children at heart and children love to ask the same thing over and over of a loving mother. Some have found in this point a, this a point to criticize. They have never sounded to its depths this prayer that is so dear to Mary. There are times in our lives when faced with pain and sorrow, our very thoughts seem to stop. In such paralyzing moments, the only prayers that will come to our lips are those we have said since childhood, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. It is a natural thing that a stricken child should call upon its mother for help. So it is that we grope for our rosary in the darkness of tragedy or temptation, and Our Lady does not fail to help. Paradoxically, though, the rosary is limited to so few prayers said vocally, its possibilities for mental prayer have almost no limits at all. The greatest of mystics and scholars have lost themselves in the depths of the mysteries of, presented by these scenes of the incarnation, death, and resurrection of the Redeemer. Throughout the troubled centuries, the rosary has been a lifeline to heaven for millions of souls. Through the terrors of persecution in country after country, Christians have not dared get together for prayer. They were denied the mass because all their priests had been killed, but they whispered in secret the prayer of the rosary. And in this way, the faith has been preserved, sometimes for centuries. Even today, many a Catholic struck down by an accident or sudden illness owes the grace of receiving the last sacraments to the fact that he carries a rosary in his pocket. For that is the unmistakable sign that he is one who has a claim upon the mother of God. He will have an intercessor to stand beside him at the throne of God. After a lifetime of saying over and over again, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, one could expect nothing less. How about that for a ringing endorsement of the rosary and Our Lady and of our persevering prayer, asking Our Lady to intercede for us and God to give us the Holy Spirit. Let's bring our prayers and deeds to our Heavenly Father. For the Holy Catholic Church, may God infuse her with his wisdom and grace, empowering all to spread his love throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in positions of leadership, may God's love and grace inform their choices as they care for those they lead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with poverty, sickness, or loneliness, may God comfort them and provide what they need to heal and prosper. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Kramsaka, we may be spared the loss of life and damage to property during this hurricane season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the conversion of the United States of America back to the values of God and the gospel, for a pro-life culture, 
and for healing of all who have been damaged in Hurricane Ida. We pray through the intercession of Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now our daily prayers. Prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Lord Jesus, you have traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in halting the spread of the virus. Be with leaders of nations, give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and healing Lord, our Lady of Prom Sacor, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Rosalie, pray for us, amen. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Prom Sacor in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Prompt Succor, hasten to help us. Mother Henrietta Leo, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly to earth's ends you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
mirror at the top. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reminder tonight, well, first of all, this morning we have the food bank open from 9 to 11 in St. Joseph Hall. Uh, tonight is City Park Night. Uh, for If you have children or grandchildren, this will be the first time our, our school has been able to do City Park Night in almost two years because of COVID and all the other restrictions. So uh, from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, for one price, 
kids have unlimited access to all the rides in the amusement area at City Park. So we encourage you to think about that. And uh, this Saturday, we have the Fatima Rosary March, where we'll march with a statue of Our Lady of Fatima and also a statue of St. Joseph and have Eucharistic adoration on the front porch of the church. That's from 12 to 1 p.m. It's supposed to be beautiful weather this weekend. And at one o'clock, we have a jambalaya reception under the Port Pichet. Wednesday night of next week, we begin showing The Chosen, a wonderful mini-series on Jesus. It'll be in St. Joseph Hall, beginning at 6.15 in the evening. There is a free meal available. You can order a sandwich or a salad, but you have to let our office know. Uh, we have a number of people signed up, but we still have openings for that. So uh, hopefully we have a full house for that. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls.